DJ Bruto Beer Review. Today we have yet another beer provided to us by whom? By Lagunitas Brewing Company out of Petaluma, California and Chicago, Illinois, U.S. of A. Yay, yay. And what beer do we have from them today? We have their Sparkling Swan Ale. This is a hybrid beer. We'll get into that a little bit more in a second. It's a limited serving of clocks in at 6.5% ABV and 28 IBUs. Now this beer is based on their Dark Swan Ale. Loosely, I guess recipe wise, that's more of a sour or wild ale. This beer has toned down in that department. Why is that? Well, it's a hybrid because they're using Concord grape juice in it. And they've added a bit of lactobacillus to be like sort of a tart parry, I suppose, to the sweetness of the Concord grape juice. And it's supposed to be super carbonated. That's why I pre-poured it. And yes, it definitely was super carbonated and it took a while for the head to dissipate. So we'll give you a little taste of that, what that's like when we pour this one. Boom, you can see the carbonation explodes rather quickly on this so let's talk about the appearance we've had our you know nice letter here from Lagunitas as well this time they went all out on the inside and we had all kinds of awesome print and we learned that this is this is and that's about the brew anyways I digress I'm back to the appearance again anywho it's a lovely sort of purple color and we have a pinkish purple head it was when I poured this glass filling we've got a solid one finger head of super tightly packed bubbles and when I look down at the bottom of this glass there's tons of active bubbles streaming up from the bottom they say they you know basically carbonated the hell out of it you know that, that was kind of their words or maybe they carbonated the fuck out of it I can't remember anywho when I swirl it yeah we're not gonna get any we're not really getting any alcohol legs eh, maybe a little bit and I do suspect we'll get some nice glass lacing but taking a look at that this is supposed to be a stand-in for champagne and sparkling and fizzy like that a, like celebratory kind of holiday drink that's I guess, think the purpose of this brew and maybe it's a bridge beer too for folks who are maybe into ciders or sparkling wine things of that sort get them into a store of the beer category I get it you know what so I've had a lot of wine hybrid sort of beers that I've really dug from uh, Dogfish Head in the past you know one of my favorite breweries so let's see if this one uh, lives up to it and let's dive in for the aroma of sparkling swan right up in front tons of vinous grape but as you can tell, it's Concord grape in the back end because it's kind of got that like sort of grape jelly, Concord grape jelly sort of smell. It was a grainy, malty sort of sweetness in the background. Not a hint of alcohol. It smells champagne-like. Champagne you know, when you smell it, you know champagne. It's got that crisp carbonated aroma. This has that. Almost cider-like an aroma in some ways, like a sparkling grape cider, but it is an ale. Smells decent, not a hint of alcohol. Thanks for being for sending this Lagunitas. I might not have tried this had you not. Let's dive in. Cheers! Hmm, not bad. Right up at the front, the first thing you get is that vinous Concord grape, kind of grape skin. That tartness is nice. It does parry the malty, sort of grainy sweetness that's in there. Um, not a super complex beer. It's got a, a grainy sort of um, almost crackery finish in the back end. Fairly dry finish. The 6.5% is completely hidden. But it's kind of there flavor-wise, then it goes away. There's no really perceptible bitterness. Maybe a little tiny bit of floral hop in there. Very faint that I'm getting. But um, the main parry sort of flavor in there is that of the lactobacillus. Nice glass lacing as I suspected. Decent. Brew, I can see it as a stand-in, and as I suspected, I would classify this for me anyway, being a beer aficionado, a beer geek, drinker, however you want to call it. I'd say this is a really good bridge beer. I know, like, my missus would probably like this because she likes ciders and sparkling wines and coolers and things of that sort, and this is a good bridge between that. I've had more complex, you know, wine beers, like this is Wine Barrel Age, this Imperial Stout here, this, the uh, um, Sonoma Brett Stout. Brad Farmhouse stuff, that was awesome. Um, but um, this isn't blowing me away. It's tasty, but it's got this like big, like malty, grainy thing going in the background that's not my favorite. Decent brew. Um, the grapes there, and the tartness is there, and that's about it. So let's grade it. At time recording, Beer Advocate has no grade. I didn't even see it uh, like logged in on there. And Untapped is given this 3.62 out of 5 caps. So I'd say that's a B plus. I'm going to go with a B plus this on this myself. Um, it's tasty. It's not my style particularly. I'm not into the like fizzy stuff like this. But um, I know a lot of people are. 
on a hot day, I might grade it a little higher, but I'm going to go with like an 88 solid B+. Plus. Um, I drink it again, though I don't know if, if I would necessarily seek it out. Didn't have to seek it out this time, but I'm glad it was sent to me. I'm grateful it was sent to me because I probably wouldn't have tried this otherwise. And you know what? The more stuff you try, the more you know about beer. And the quid pro quo and the back and forth I always talk about, that's what's important. So, oh, speaking of which, if you could do me a big favor and think globally, drink locally, and support the craft beer movement, that would totally rock the house. Also, like I said, if you could do me a favor and rate comment, subscribe, hmm, maybe consider smashing that like button after you give me that quid pro pro and the back and forth if you've had this or a beer like this. That is all awesomeness, front to back. So, to the next E-Day Brew 2, I got nothing but a hell of a bunch of sparkling swan drinking love for you, and you know what's coming for you by now. That's right, a big ass pizza!